Hey, Jisters, good morning. Thank you so much for tuning in today and for journeying with me in the Word of God. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being faithful to the Lord during all of this time and during COVID. And just make sure our relationship with God is so vital. I think there's going to be a devotion coming soon uh, on that relationship with God. But spend some time with God today in prayer and in His Word. And I even highly recommend you guys fast during this time for God's will to be done in your own life and uh, in the life of, of your family and in the lives of our nation, our state during this very challenging time. You know, there are times when we focus so much on the here, right now, and we lose sight of eternity. And that's really where we're at today. Go with me to 2 Kings chapter 20. 2 Kings chapter 20, verses 17 through 19. Give me a second, gotta have my coffee here. 2 Kings chapter 20, 17 through 19. This is the end of the life of King Hezekiah. King Hezekiah was a great king. He was an awesome king. There was a revival during King Hezekiah's life that was unsurpassed in awesomeness and bringing nation of Israel back to God. Uh, Hezekiah is awesome because uh, there's another passage where Isaiah the prophet, uh, he, uh, so he wrote during Hezekiah's time. And in fact, some of his chapters are Hezekiah's life, but uh, Isaiah comes because God tells, Hez God tells Isaiah, hey, go tell King Hezekiah he's going to die. And so Isaiah has got to go and he's got to tell the king he's going to die. Hezekiah rolls over in his bed and just starts praying and pleading with God. To, to keep him alive because he's been a good king because he wants to do more for Christ, or more for God, Jehovah. And God grants that request and he gives him another 15 years of his life. But a problem comes in. During that time, and maybe it was that event, I, I don't know, the you know, Bible doesn't give us that, but Hezekiah changes who he really was from being a very godly king to and, and thinking about God and Jehovah to being a very selfish king, a pride-filled king. Uh, we don't have all of that information in here, but he loses sight of God and he begins to focus on the now. In fact, the last words that we have of, of King Hezekiah are pretty damning. And I don't use that word lightly, but look with me here. Uh, 2 Kings chapter 20. Sorry, got something in my eye. There we go. 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 17. Isaiah is talking and he says, Hear the word of the Lord in verse 16. Behold, the days come that all that is in thine house and that which thy fathers have laid up in store unto this day shall be carried into Babylon. Nothing shall be left, saith the Lord. And of thy sons that shall issue from thee, which thou shalt beget, shall they take away. And they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. That's it's not very comforting words, is it? Look at Hezekiah's response, though. It's actually very telling. Then said Hezekiah unto Isaiah, Good is the word of the Lord which thou hast spoken. And he said, Is it not good if peace and truth be in my days? If you don't maybe ask questions when you read the Bible, like, what does he mean by that? You might miss this. You might think that, well, Hezekiah is just accepting what, what has been said. And I think that's the truth, but there's more to it. Look again at Hezekiah's response. Verse 19, good is the word of the Lord, which thou hast spoken. Hezekiah, were you listening to me? I mean, can you, I don't know. Isaiah just spoke and he's saying, Hezekiah, because you've blown it. Because you exposed all your treasures to Babylon and how great of a kingdom Israel truly is. He says, everyone that comes from you, all of your sons, they're going to be eunuchs. Not going to go into detail on what that means, but <laughs> no kiddos, uh, no carrying on the family line. Now we do know it, it happens because of Jesus and Joseph, but you know, it's one of those things like Hezekiah, all your kids, they're not going to be around. There's not going to be a kingdom anymore. Good is the word of the Lord. That's not very good. In fact, it's pretty damning. It's pretty powerful. It's pretty messed up. But then look at what he says at the end of that. Good is the word of the Lord. 
Is it not good? If peace and truth be in my days. You know what Hezekiah is really saying here? I don't care about the future. I'm living for the now. God gave me 15 more years and I'm going to live it to the life I can live now. He blew it. He lost sight of eternity. He, he lost sight of the blessings that God desires, not now, but in the future. Yes, God gives us blessings now. Yes, there's, there's amazing blessings today, but those aren't always material and those aren't always peace as we would think of it today. Hezekiah got focused today and he lost sight of eternity. And as a result, the legacy that God would have had got changed. It got rewritten. You know, Satan oftentimes will cause us to be short-sighted. He'll say, look at all the blessing, look at all the awesomeness, look at all the great things now that you can have. And, he lo and we lose sight of it. And he hides the problems, the consequences that come as a result of maybe that sin. Uh, so many people for one night of passion uh, and maybe end up pregnant or end up with a disease or something else. And not everybody ends up that way, but uh, many do. And Satan said, look at the joy that you can have now. And we lost sight of eternity. People will go out and mar their bodies with, with tattoos or with other things. They'll go out and they'll drink or they'll go out and they'll commit some other sin or lewd act. And it's, it's as if they've lost sight of now. And I'm not talking just the world. Christians fall into this category too. Because they got short-sighted. Because they lost sight of eternity. And so we wanted the now. And we lost sight of the future. Uh, Dr. Bob Jones Sr., great old-time preacher of the past, he said this, never sacrifice the future on the altar of the immediate. We have got to remember to stay focused, not just now, but in the future as well. I'm laying up treasures in heaven where moth and rust don't corrupt, where thieves don't break through and steal. Yeah, yes, I want to enjoy life now, and, and with God, there's pleasures forevermore at his right hand. And, and I can have joy and I can have peace, but maybe not in the way that the world thinks. It may not be a material blessing that I have, maybe a spiritual blessing. I don't know. God is great. God is amazing. I'm not going to limit him, but I want to keep my focus on eternity. I don't want to be like Hezekiah in this sense. He was a great king. He was a godly man. He had a great revival. But just look with me at the next couple of verses. Those are the last words of Hezekiah, verse 20, and the rest of the acts of Hezekiah and all his might. And how he made a pool and a conduit and brought water into the city. Are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Judah? And Hezekiah slept with his fathers, and Manasseh, his son, reigned in his stead. If you keep reading in 2 Kings and Manasseh's reign, Manasseh was one of the most wicked kings imaginable. He was looking at daddy, and he saw daddy live for the now. And Manasseh said, I'm going to live for the now. And he threw God out the window. And everything that Hezekiah had done, Manasseh undid. Ouch. Guys, think. You're young. Think about the future. Don't focus on the here and the now. Look forward to what God has for you. Father, I love you. Thank you. Strengthen us today. This is a hard lesson. Lord, it's hard in many respects because, Lord, it, it, I know I, I oftentimes, you almost forget, I'm not living just for today. I'm living for eternity. I'm laying up treasures in heaven. God, work today and help us. Strengthen us, even as a young, uh, young gisters. God, help us to see the importance of the future. God, work mightily in our hearts today. Bless this day with all, with all that is within us. Bless it. Thank you, Lord. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, you guys have a wonderful day.